Hey gamer, do you wanna... Not just gamer, sorry. Hey PS4 gamer, do you wanna stream your PS4 gameplay using a PC, but you don't have a capture card? Say no more fam, I got you. Alright, so the requirements is to have, of course, your PS4, the laptop, a laptop or a desktop PC, which is going to be taking care of the streaming part. Software we're going to be using today is OBS Studio, which is, you know, the streaming software and PS4 Remote Play. The reason for doing this is maybe you don't have a capture card or you don't want to invest in one um, like me because I rarely play my PS4 anyway, so I don't think it's smart to buy a capture card since I almost don't use my PS4, it's getting really dusty. But sometimes I kind of want to stream my PS4 gameplay just to just to stream, so might as well just stream it, you know? But yeah, let's go to the tutorial. Okay, so the first step is to download the two required softwares, which is PS4 Remote Play and OBS Studio. Install OBS Studio if you haven't done so. And after installing OBS Studio, of course, install PS4 Remote Play. There are a few settings that we need to make sure that it's enabled on our PS4. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the PS4 first. Now that it's turned on, go to settings and scroll all the way down to Remote Play Connection Settings. On this section, make sure that the Enable Remote Play has a check mark. This will make the PS4 accessible through the PS4 Remote Play app on the PC. Okay, now go back to settings and then scroll all the way up to account management. From there, enter activate as your primary PS4. Now, go back to settings again and go to power save settings. Enter set features available in rest mode and make sure stay connected to the internet is turned on just in case your ps4 goes to sleep you can still wake it up using the ps4 remote play in your computer now we're done setting up the ps4 attach the usb cable of your controller to the controller itself and then on the computer that you're going to be using open ps4 remote play and you should see the setup screen turn on your controller to connect it to the computer from this setup screen we can go ahead and change some settings first before clicking start button. Click the settings button here on the left side and you should see the settings screen pop up. You can add your PSN here on this window. You can change the resolution up to 1080 but take note that the 1080p res only works with the PS4 Pro. Since I only have a PS4 Slim, the max res that I could output is 720p. Okay so for my frame rate, I'll put it on high since I have a decent enough upload speed. After setting this up, click OK. You can go ahead and press the start button. It should ask for your PSN login here if you haven't set it up yet on the settings earlier. Once that's done, you should see a notification on your PS4 setup and over here on your computer, you should be able to see the remote play working. Okay, so for the OBS setup, it should be really simple. Just add either a display capture or a window capture here on your scene. Add some of the stuff that you want to show up on your stream like for example a picture, your logo, or maybe your webcam. Okay, so now we are ready to stream. I went ahead and set up my OBS to 720p output with 60fps. I already type in my stream key from Facebook Live and here we go guys. Uh, you guys can see that it works and it works properly. As I'm playing the game, I actually look at the PS4 screen, not on the laptop because it's only 720p on the laptop and it's a little bit delayed. But take note that I am not experiencing any input lag from my controller when I look at the PS4 screen. For Mac users, it does work as well. Uh, it's the same process. As you can see here, it does work. Uh, but my MacBook is really old, so it does lag out a lot. Woo! It feels like 
we hit two birds in one stone on that tutorial. I showed you guys how to use PS4 Remote Play and also using PS4 Remote Play to stream. You don't have to have the same internet that's going to your PS4 and to that laptop, let's say. Uh, so you can pretty much go somewhere that has internet and you can access your PS4, you can play, and then you can stream right there and there. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more tutorials like this in the future. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and you will see me on the next one. Yeah, buddy!